All right, y'all, I heard you loud and clear. The Hauser is a blue teal, not a green teal. So let's redo this thing. Hopefully we can get it closer this time around. You can see me looking all confused here because when I was looking at the footage in the uh, viewfinder on the camera I was recording on, it looked exactly the same kind of green color. I don't know what's going on, but now that I'm seeing it on the computer, it's looking a bit more blue. But I also took some footage on my phone and I don't know guys, I'm partially red green colorblind, which probably also has something to do with it, but let me know what you guys think. Let me go over the steps it took to redo this thing quick. So first I needed to tape off the whole top of the helmet so that I could redo the white so that we could get those white scratches underneath the liquid latex again. After that came taping off the section for the teal that included the rim around the back of the helmet as well as the little center mohawk. Then I applied the liquid latex the same as before and then soon we should be ready for the teal paint. Okay, after the latex and the base white have dried, we can apply our blue teal. And you can see I used a gloss seaside you can see it compared against the green teal that I had used in the first video. So this one definitely looks more blue to me. I used the same rubber glove trick to peel off the liquid latex. And now the last thing to do would be to repaint that black eyebrow rim that goes around the whole helmet. Unfortunately, I didn't wait long enough for this teal paint to dry and some of the tape actually lifted it off. So I had to like retape, repaint, all that. It was not fun. And that's kind of what I deserve for rushing. So always remember to let your paint properly dry the correct amount of time. So once I got that all retaped and repainted, I'm gonna paint the black rim around the helmet with an airbrush black because I was gonna follow it up right after with re-weathering the helmet. So I figured I would just use the same airbrush to do that. And I accidentally peeled off some of the blue tube stripes on both cheeks with the tape. This whole project was just going really well from the beginning. So luckily I had some extras and just reapplied them on the cheek. So there we go guys, you can see the new helmet on the left compared to the old helmet on the right. I think it's definitely the better shade out of the two. And I'm glad I took the time to revisit this one because it was going to bug me if I just left it like it was. Hopefully you all agree that it's better, but either way I'll see y'all in the next video.